The amount of devastation that has already occurred upon the earth is not going to be reversed by men. And because men are not repenting and turning to God, but they are looking to themselves for peace and for restoration of the earth, they're never going to find what they're looking for. They're never going to find true hope, true true peace, true restoration. I am always reminded when I go out into the wilderness that even the earth is crying out. Things are drying up here in California. The fires are coming through. And people are looking to the government. They are looking to the securities of this world to try to bring them peace and hope for a future. But it's never going to happen. The only hope is in Jesus Christ. The only hope is in truly repenting, coming out of this world and entering into the kingdom of heaven. I want to read to you what the Apostle Peter wrote in Second Peter chapter 3. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements will melt with fervent heat? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Are you looking for that new heaven and that new earth in which righteousness dwells? Are you a part of the kingdom of God? Or are you part of this world trying to find peace and hope in this world? The hope of this world is perishing. I hope you find Jesus for real before you're forever too late.